Hello everybody, Andrea Tarowski here with Dental L Tutoring. And in this video, I'm just going to talk about myself a little bit, which feels kind of funny to me, but a lot of you have been um, sending me emails or just simply asking me, so tell me about yourself. You know, who are you? Um, for those of you who have been watching my YouTube videos for a while, I've been doing them now for about a year, I think, maybe even a year and a half. But I just recently started doing them more often, I'd say the past couple months or so. And um, for those of you who are watching them, you're probably wondering, well, who the heck am I, right? So I'll try to keep this short and sweet. What time is it? It's 10 o'clock. So I will try to keep this in about 10 minutes or so. So a little bit about me is... I became a dental assistant at age 19. I always knew that I wanted to be in the dental industry and I knew that I wanted to be a dental hygienist. But um, I wanted to be the best um, dental hygienist that I could be and I wanted to save up money for school to be a dental hygienist because it's a lot more money to go to school to be a dental hygienist than it is to be a dental assistant. So after high school, I went and I took dental assisting at a private college. Um, it took about 11 months, that's it, and I loved it. You know, I loved it. Plus, I took the program because I knew a few people who did take the program because they thought that they wanted to get into um, dental, but then after taking the dental assisting program, they quickly realized that they just simply didn't like it. So it's a good thing that they, they um, try the dental assisting program first and spent that money, then having to go into dental hygiene, spend like three... Th um, three times as much and then realized that they don't like it. So I kind of did it to make sure that I actually liked um, the dental field too. So I did that and um, then I started working age 19 for an amazing office, um, a big office too. There was seven um, dentists all together at one point at that office. But I still knew that I wanted to be a dental hygienist. So I took dental hygiene, um, the program in my town, I took that um, about a year later, maybe even a year and a half, and then my program actually shut down about three weeks before I was supposed to graduate. So I was like, oh. Um, in fact, I had already had a job lined up for um, dental hygiene at the same office, and I had to tell them I'm actually not going to graduate because I have to take the program again. So I took the program again. Um, I moved to Toronto for 18 months to take the program again. Um, and I obviously passed. And then I ended up working in that same office. I took over a maternity leave for somebody. So I was working there for a year and then they decided to keep me on. So I was working there for about 10 years. So in total, about 10 years, which is amazing, right? Um, and then I, um, and I should mention too, I've been tutoring since I was 19 as well. Not seriously, you know, like I did it every so often if somebody needed me, but I decided to get more serious about it when more students were coming to me because they needed the help. Um, so it's been about five years or so that I've been more serious about tutoring. Um, and the past year, especially because last year actually, was it last year? Yes, it was last year where I decided to focus on tutoring full time. Not because I didn't like hygiene, not because anything happened. It's just, um, you know, your priorities change. And I realized that I could work from home tutoring online. I could help people. Um, did I mention that I could work from home? Like that was just a nice thing for me. And at the time I was traveling an hour because we had moved. I was traveling an hour to go to work. And the winter time was just horrible. I didn't like it. I ended up being late sometimes, even though I left early enough. There were always accidents on the highway. Not me, thankfully, knock on wood. But there were always accidents, so I would be stuck behind. Um, and it just was not nice, you know, to have to deal with all of that stress. So I decided to focus on tutoring full time because I wanted to help people and more and more students were coming to me asking for help. Um, I had about two or three um, schools at the time come to me and say, can you teach my class to um, prep them for the board exam? So I'm like, okay, so there is something out there where students need tutoring and I could do it full time because I was doing it pretty much after work and on um, weekends. So I didn't have any time for, my, for myself, for anybody, and I was just simply exhausted. So I had to think to myself, okay, 
do I want to tutor full time or do I want to do dental hygiene um, full time? So I weighed out the pros and cons. And to make a long story short, um, tutoring full time just made the most sense to me. So I've been tutoring now full time for about a year. Um, no, about a year and a half now. Um, and I love it. So this is kind of my story. Um, so now that I'm doing it full time, I am able to upload more YouTube um, videos so that more students are able to see what I do. I am able to tutor more students and help students pass, which is amazing. And I developed um, the Dental L student program about a year ago now where I help students still in school. So if they need help with, you know, tests, exams, homework, assignments, projects, you know, um, essays, um, research, I can help them and I love it. I've had so many um, students say, you know, thank you so much for just being there, for, for um, offering support, for doing what you do. I just love that. So now I am tutoring full time. Oh my gosh, I forgot to mention. I took um, the program um, restorative hygiene about two years ago. So I am, I am also a restorative hygienist. And this was before I decided to stay home tutoring full time. Because yes, I took the program, but there's not a lot of jobs out there for it unless you kind of know a dentist who wants to have it, right? So I am glad that I took the program. I do have that skill, so when I do work as a dental hygienist, I can ask for more hourly, which is always nice, right? But you know, still, tutoring is my true passion. I don't plan to go to school anymore. I'm done because tutoring is what I want to do. Um, so now, I work about two days a week in um, a dental office where I do um, dental hygiene for the most part. Um, and I do that because I love still working with people. I love working with patients. Plus, I spent a lot of money on school. So that is still something that I want to do to keep my um, skills up, right? Like that is something that I want to do. Um, so I work two days a week though. That's it. I love it. I tutor full time, as I said. And I can't say enough how much I love it. Um, on a side note, <clears throat> When I first left the office um, before to tutor um, full time, um, I decided, well, I have a lot of time on my hands. So what I wanted to do, um, for those of you who have heard of um, LipSense, so I decided to sell LipSense also because with LipSense, um, everything you sell, if you sell enough, you can make a 50% um, commission. So it was just something fun that I wanted to do. You know, I didn't sign up for it to make a full-time income because I didn't have time to really, you know, put, put the hard work in it. But I signed up so that I could get the, the um, discount because I'm wearing LipSense now and I like love it. Like this stuff, you guys, does not come off. See? It does not come up. Actually, I do have some on my finger because I actually, um, I put some on my hand earlier. So yeah, but see? <laughs> it doesn't come off. So, oh, sorry, I just lifted up my middle finger for you. Oh, sorry. Um, but yeah, so I decided to sell LipSense um, after I left the office. And quickly, I realized um, everybody wanted LipSense. And I started making a really good income from doing that, too. So I was like, wow. So yeah, like, I don't even know how to say it. Because I was not the one to like um, direct sales companies because I felt that it was a, a scheme in a sense, if I can say that, you know, but I just, um, joined from, for myself to get the discount and to just kind of sell to friends and family. But then before I knew it, people were, were coming to me asking for it because they saw me, um, wear it. I would wear it at work. Um, and it would not come off on the mask. So patients would ask for it. Staff would ask, um, for it. So I was just selling to them and I was quickly making more money than I thought was possible. Like I was making, a, um, I think my first month I made like $2,300, which is wow. Amazing. Right. I'm considering I'm just selling, um, lipstick. Right. So, um, so now, um, to make a long story short, sorry guys, um, I am now helping other, um, dental hygienists and dental assistants who want to make a side income sell lip sets. So I'm also doing that on the side. See, I don't have time to sell it per se. So I hire other people to kind of sell it too. So I will train you how to sell. 
um, you know, how to sell without sounding like you're selling, if that makes sense, and how to make a good income from it. So if that's something that you are interested in, I do that too. So I do a little bit of everything. If you guys have questions, just let me know. But okay, perfect. See, so it's 1010. So I talked a little bit about myself. I should mention we had just moved last week. So the place is kind of a mess here. So sorry about that. But um, yeah, so that's me, Andrea Tarowski, um, dental health tutoring since I was 19. I'll be 31 this year. So I've been doing this for a while and I love it. And my students, by the way, have a 99.4% success rate passing the exam. So if you need help, let me know. If you're a student still in school, I can help you make things so much less stressful. So thank you all for watching all of these lovely videos. If you need anything, let me know, and I will see you guys in the next one.